Hi, welcome to another episode of Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer. In today's episode, I'm going to be reading an email that I received from a viewer and doing my best to answer it. As always, if you have any advice for this person and you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you are listening via a podcast, whether it be some YouTube feature or Spotify, then I don't think you can leave a comment. But if you have any input, you can always check out my video on YouTube and leave a comment there. So the person's name is Mossy, and the subject is simple. It says returning student. And the message is pretty short too. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it in its entirety, and then um, I'll see what I can do to help this person. Hi, sir. I came across your YouTube channel by chance, and I would really like to say thank you for all the great content that you have published. It really inspired me a lot. I am a software engineer and I do really love what I am doing, but I am also interested in mathematics, not just because many of my daily tasks are based on mathematical and logical reasoning, but also because it was a dream for me to be a professional mathematician. I'm thinking of returning to school to major in mathematics. I am not really worried about the amount of work and time required to get a degree in mathematics, just wondering if it is possible for a 37 years old software engineer to be a mathematician. Thanks for your attention, exclamation mark. So first let me say thank you, Mossy, for your message. Um, messages like this are really good and I love answering them and I feel like it's been a while since I've answered a message, so I'm behind, so let's do it. So first let me just answer your question. Yes, the answer is yes, it's possible. Of course it's possible. I am one of those people that tends to believe that anything is possible, anything. Um, so yes, I, I, I personally think it's 100% possible. I think if you were 57, it's possible. I think if you were 67, it's possible. You know, I knew someone who got a, a PhD in biology and she was in her 60s. I think she was like 64. And she already had a math degree actually, a math master's. So it's possible, right? Age is just a number, right? And you shouldn't let it be a barrier uh, for anything you're trying to do in your life, you know, as long as, you know, what you're trying to do isn't dangerous or something like that. As far as your comment about uh, the amount of work and time required, I think it's really, really good that you're not concerned about how much time it's going to take. Because I think, I think it's going to take more time than you think. Mathematics is extremely time consuming, right? It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of persistence, it takes a lot of practice, and a lot of times you're taking a math class and, and you're trying to learn something, and it feels like no matter how hard you try, you can't learn it. And you're gonna be in situations at some point, I'm sure, where that's the case. Or even worse, you feel like you're the one that's slow and everyone is better. The good news is you have a really good background you are a software engineer, so I think that you're gonna have a good experience. So my advice is this. My advice is find a local college. Um, I think face-to-face -face instruction is far superior to online, so I would definitely try to go face-to-face -face if you can. If you can't, because of your job, take an online class. And try to find classes you can take after work, right, after your job. Maybe like, if you can find a, a weekly class that you can take like one night a week or twice a week, that would be ideal just to get started just to get your foot in the door so start right start right now start do your research and just take one class right you don't have to fully commit i think a lot of times uh people who are thinking about doing something they'll they'll, they'll overthink it they'll say hey uh, you know i want to do this thing like like go back to school so what do i need to do so they'll do all this research and they'll spend hours you know, looking at all the options, which is really fun. I think it's a very fun thing to do. I still do it for all kinds of things I'm interested in, right? So I still look at stuff and plan, but nothing is going to happen until you take that first step. So I think, I think taking one class is a good step. Now, you probably already have a degree, so you've probably already had some math classes, so you just gotta see like, what's the first class that the college will actually let you take? My advice would be to try to get into a proof-based mathematics class as soon as possible. Most math majors have to take a class on proof writing. Usually it's called like introduction to writing proofs or like logic and proof or introduction to higher mathematics. Most colleges in the US, most universities and colleges 
have a course like that that's required for students. And those courses are prerequisites to more advanced courses like real analysis, AKA advanced calculus, abstract algebra, topology, complex variables, you know, differential equations, you know, it's partial differential equations, all the proof-based classes, topology, graph theory, combinatorics, number theory, all of these classes usually have that prereq that you know how to write proofs uh, before you take one of these classes. All of these classes are hard, okay? They are hard. I'm getting goosebumps. They are no joke, okay? They, they are not, um, it's not easy. These are undergraduate classes. So I'm assuming that you're probably going to have to start there before you jump into grad school. They will probably recommend that you learn how to write proofs. See, but bef before going to grad school, the thing is you have to know how to write proofs, right? That That's the thing, right? So you have to have some background. The more math you know before grad school, the better. So if you want to be a mathematician, um, you have to go to grad school, right? So that's that's the goal. So jump into it. Um, start with with one class. Another option, and this is one that you might have already done. So you have you're a software engineer. So most computer science students have to take a course called Discrete Math, and that's a wonderful course. It's a lovely course. I took it because I was doing computer science and mathematics, and then I, I dropped computer science just to focus on math because. I just like math so much more. I love computers, but like, you know, I'm always on the internet, but I I love mathematics a, a lot more. So discrete math is a class where you cover all kinds of math and you cover proof techniques. So maybe you've had some exposure to that. That's another class you could take that might help you with, with your mathematics. So that's my advice. Jump into it. Um, as they always say, if you if you don't do anything differently in your life, it's really hard to expect different results, right? So like if you do the same thing every day and you're you're dreaming of something and, and you're wishing for something, it's unlikely to happen unless you take a different course of action, right? Because the actions you make today, you take today are going to you know dictate your life. So do it, right? Jump into it. I, I really think you can do it, Masi. Um, and if anyone else watching, you know, this video here on YouTube, has any advice, um, leave a comment in, in the comment section below. And if you're listening to this, if you happen to be listening to this on Spotify, because I know people do listen on Spotify and YouTube has some feature now where they do something with the podcast, which is really cool because I just started a podcast a few months ago and then now YouTube has this feature. So <laughs> I hope it helps me. Uh, but um, yeah, so you can always, always come to YouTube and leave a comment here. Um, so yeah, get started. Take that first class. It's that first step. Remember, you're not going to get different results until you do. And yes, absolutely, it is totally possible. There is, it's definitely possible. You got this. You can do it. I hope this video has been helpful. And until next time, good luck and take care.